Welcome. This is the Oracle card reading for the collective um, for the week commencing 9th of September. So I'm just going to go through the three decks that I've used um, for this reading, which is for the collective. So I've got three cards which give us the main idea of the energies or, or the um, invitations, you know, what we're kind of being asked to reflect on or perhaps to, um, to, to acknowledge. But anyway, so the first three cards are from the Mystical Shaman Oracle. Here we are by Alberto Veloldo, Colette Baron reed and Marcella Lobos. And I have one from the Wild Kuan Yin Oracle, that's Alana Fairchild. And the final one from the Flower of Life, um, Denise Jarvi. There we are. Okay. And before, yeah, before I continue, because as I was just touching the cards again, and I will, sh I will show them, I will present them to you in a moment. What, what I was really getting, I mean, in summary is for us to, to really, um, treat ourselves or really because we're going into into uh, autumn and we're going into the winter solstice and we're also being asked even from last week and the week before being asked to start thinking of what we want to create and the seeds we'd like to sow for next year but also it's very much about discovering who we are what we are and why we are so we've got the three cards and 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 that's kind of the impression that i've got but not just that to see as opposed to see the commonalities between ourselves and other humans but also to see that that commonality that common thread or you might call it spirit soul um is also the earth and and also the, the great consciousness of this planet and and if you want to extend it the solar system the galaxy the universe so it's a real um perhaps it's because we're coming up to the equinox you know it's the balance the balance of looking deep within i'm just going to call my dog mochi come here because we've got builders next door and i don't want him to start yelling if it's suddenly if i mute it that's because he's barking his head off so it's going inward so going really deep inside but also going out so um finding out you know investigating again the universe within and also the universe without okay without further ado i'm going to show you the three cards um and they're absolutely beautiful okay and this is the beloved look at that beautiful passionate red color the beloved and the heart and the hands Mochi, come here. Mochi. Oh, I'm just going to pause this. So once again, here is the beloved, the first card. And we're moving on. So I'm going to show you all the cards and then we'll go through each one. And this is Earth. Look at that. With all the colors, the browns. The yellows, the oranges, the blues, yeah. And the last card from the Mystical Shaman Oracle is Pachamama. There we are. Look at that. Looks like, like wings. In a sense, it reminds me of Hermes with the winged, but it's winged feet. But yeah, the wings, wings around the head and, and all that profusion of energy sort of emanating from the back of the head and below it's beautiful so the one card which gives us a greater sort of flavor um, is from the wild Kuan Yin um, oracle deck and this is sister of Shambhala shows the way and she looks like she's floating or air jumping up and flying and um, yes there's this sheep and um, there's a falcon there with amazing sight they have amazing sight yeah and they're fast and the last one um, 
it's beautiful you can see the you can see the uh, the seeds i'm not sure what the what the grain is but there we are um sorry about the pauses and the dog but here's the beautiful card from the flower of life by denise javi and i'm going to read you the back side um healing feel into you and realize that the giving and receiving of love in all its many amazing shades of magnificence is the key to healing every illness is a symbolic message from one part of the self to another concerning your emotional responses to life let yourself heal use your will your intention and your wisdom to understand with compassion the perceptions and experiences that you carry become intimate with you before trying to help another respect the right of another to carry the pain they choose in order to find the truth of their high self pain is the way your high self gets your attention is this the way this amazing wonderful universe that is you shows you where you hold in balance it is doing all it can to bring you into balance so you can fulfill your potential all is perfect in this moment and before i move on to the three main ones again this is really 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 beautiful um and also when i read this it reminds me of a passage which is um from something that we share in angelic reiki workshops and it's a channeling um of dwell cool by alice bailey and it's the laws and rules of healing and at the end it says something to the effect of we are moving away from the the the, the sort of experiences of pain and suffering i suppose in order for us to perhaps understand or experience things or you know what whatever but we're moving in it into a time of greater joy and perhaps experience through greater joy greater understanding so at the moment we're still in or perhaps it's because of our our the level of our consciousness or our expectations or what we've been taught when we were young in that you will receive punishment if you do something which is deemed wrong you know so we have punishment um and and, and not not um uh teaching from a different point perhaps from from understanding what the experience of the other is like if we have if we have hurt them so perhaps we're moving into or the invitation is for the whole of humanity to move into greater more heartfelt vulnerable communication um instead of what we've been doing for all this millennia and bashing each other up <laughs> um you know uh revenge an eye for an eye and a, a and a tooth for a tooth perhaps this is our invitation that we we move on from this and i'm holding getting a hold of the dog because as you, you can hear this um building work going on next door and it, it messes him up or it, it gets him a bit worried so he starts to bark so we go back to the beloved now the beloved you may feel ah ah it's to do with my relationships yes it is to do with relationships but i think that this particular reading is very much about our relationship with ourself and this this colors our relationships with others as well and our relationship with ourselves is very much um built upon how our relationship with our parents in our formative years so from say conception to the year of seven to, to the age of seven it's very much we we are so we have been so programmed by that time and what happened when we were young and that that's our expectation even if it's subconscious yeah so hence i, I believe that this card is really asking us about our relationship with ourselves what we think what's in the subconscious what's coming up for us now what's coming into our consciousness um, and then we can start to really understand why our relationships might be working out the way they are yeah so it's looking within so we can understand why the without is the way it is earth we are part of earth we are not separate from nature 
Uh, we are not separate from nature. We are like the trees and all the other animals. I always think we are very much like the trees, except that we have come to the point where we are not so deeply rooted. We're energetically rooted, but we're not deeply rooted like uh, the trees. And we, we are able to walk around um, and, and travel across the planet. And even for some, we travel across um, space to the moon, I suppose, and to other places perhaps in the future. But we're still very much Earth and nature. So looking to nature at this time with the change in cycles as well and understanding perhaps if this is what's happening outside, <laughs> so it's all outside in, inside out, um, perhaps that's why our body is, is responding or it is, is showing things at the moment, okay? Because there's a change in weather, very much so here in, in the UK in the Northern Hemisphere. It will apply to the Southern Hemisphere as well because they're going into spring, lucky people. And the final card, Pachamama, the great the consciousness of this planet, Gaia, and the wonderful unconditional nature of the consciousness of this planet. This is also about all the gifts and the generosity of nature. You can forage, you can eat, we plant, we we get so so many crops, so many plants, so much food. The only reason why part of the planet and people on part of the planet are starving is probably because of, you know, it's us. What have we done to disrupt um, the natural cycles of Earth and, and um, the balance with all our pollution and, and things like that? So a lot of it is, is due to our messing about and our misunderstanding that we aren't. Earth. So if we muck about with the planet, we also muck about with ourselves. Yeah, we are not separate. But here, Pachamama is always full of love. So many gifts. So these three cards are just amazing. It's it's looking at ourselves, you know, as the human. It's part of nature and the goddess, the consciousness of this planet, the energy signature of this planet and what it means it, it's it's really extending extending our perception of ourself yeah on this planet and also the energy the energy part of this planet so it, it's an, an amazing amazing um amazing cards for us sister of shambhala shows the way is look at that beautiful in red kind of matching the red but she's full of um, it's full of white, and yeah, we're not alone. We have lots of support, and there's lots of magic as we delve into ourselves, have greater understanding of ourselves as part of nature, and the consciousness of this planet with so many gifts. I mean, think about crop circles as well. So much information so so much information so much potential that we have as we live here um and we're not alone we're always supported by the high selves of our ancestors and all the angelic hosts and all your spirit guides and friends and this beautiful car which i read out and look at that the harvest it's time of harvesting apples harvesting crops so it's perfect and it just popped out by itself yeah so I'm just going to put it here again and I hope that you'll be able to read it from the picture. So thank you very much. I hope that that's helpful. So it's really an invitation to hey, hey, spend, yeah, to, to be, to really delve into the self and to be gentle, I think, treating ourselves as the beloved. I'm not just always extending the love out, but time to investigate what this means to us. Spending time taking care of ourselves. Okay, so thank you very much. And thank you for being um, patient with me, grabbing the dog and the pauses. And also with this being late, it's been a crazy weekend. Crazy but fun weekend. So thank you. Have a wonderful week. And there'll be a, another reading as well for next week. And see you soon. Goodbye for now. Namaste.